how to customize Shopify Dawn theme footer. Hi guys and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you how you can customize your Shopify's Dawn theme footer. So in order to do this, you'll have to first of all navigate to any of the browser you have on your PC. So I'm opening Microsoft Edge. Now you'll have to go to the search bar and type in Shopify login, then log into Shopify using your user credentials. And after you log into your Shopify store, you will see a dashboard appearing that will look something like this. Now you'll have to click on online store option that you see in the dashboard, then click on themes. After you click on themes, you'll be promoted to your theme page and here you'll have to make sure that Dawn theme is set as the current theme in order to customize the footer menu of Dawn theme. Now click on customize, you'll be promoted to your editing page and on this page you'll find out the header section, the template section and the footer section. So in order to edit the footer, you'll have to click on the footer button that you see under the footer option. So click on footer and you will see your footer appearing on your screen. Now you can choose the color scheme of your footer pretty easily. Simply click on the change button that you see just right here and choose any one of these schemes that you want for your Shopify. Then click on the edit button that you see just below the schemes name. So click on edit and click on this background option. Now. Choose any of the color that you want in this circle. So you can choose any color pretty easily just by moving these two balls. For example, I want the color to be purple. So I will choose purple and this is how my footer is going to look like. So I'll make it a little bit red. Now after choosing the background, you can click on background gradient and choose a specific color gradient in order to enhance the look of your footer. So I'm going to click on this red gradient. And now my footer will look something like this. You can choose any of the color gradient according to your preference. Now you can choose the color of the text that will be appearing in your footer. So for example, the subscribe to our emails text is appearing just right here. So I will click on text and choose blue color. Now you can see all the text appearing in my footer has been converted to blue. So you can choose the color of your text appearing in your footer. So I'll make it black again. Now you can choose the solid button background. You can click on it and choose any color and if there will be any solid button in your footer, it will appear that color. So that's how you can choose the color scheme of your footer and after editing the color scheme, you'll have to scroll down and you will find an option saying email sign up. So click on this show sign. So if you would have checked this box, you will see a subscribe to our emails option appearing on the footer. You can simply uncheck this box and that option will disappear from your footer. So if you want to remove it, make sure that this box is unchecked. And if you want to show it, click on this box and you can also edit this subscribe to our email text prompt appearing. So for example, if I would want to type in email sign up, I will simply type in email sign up and I can also choose whether I want the text to be bold or italic. Now I scroll down and now you have the option to follow on shop. So you can allow customers to follow your store on the shop app from your storefront and the shop pay must be enabled. So you can click on enable follow on shop and choose whether you want it or not. You can also show your social media icons and if you uncheck this box, your social media icons will disappear from your footer. You can also choose whether you want to enable the country or region selector and also the language selector. So I'm going to make sure that the language selector is enabled in order to provide better navigation to the customers from other countries. Now you can scroll down and choose whether you want to show the payment icons or not. As you can see, I can see the PayPal's payment icon just right here. And if I don't want this to appear under my footer, I will simply uncheck this box and this will disappear from my footer. And as usual, you can choose the spacing, section padding, the top padding and bottom padding of your footer. So you can increase it, decrease it according to your preference and that will look exactly how you set it up. Now go back and click on add block just under the footer and you can add menu, brand information, text or image under your footer. For example, I want to add an image under my footer. I will select image and click on this image icon and click on select image and choose an image that I want to appear under my footer. So I will select this image 
and click on done. Now you can choose the alignment of this image whether you want it to be left, center or right. And if you want to remove it, simply click on this three dotted icon and click on remove. Now that block has been removed from my footer and that's how you can customize Shopify's Dawn theme footer. Hope this video helped you. Please don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that notification bell and I will see you in the next video.